This is a short video on setting up the jackal to measure shaft speeds. Assuming that all the wiring has been done as per the manual and everything's correct, we'll go into turning on the jackal and select the setup button. We'll then see the options there, wizard's input front screen, etc. We'll select wizard and we'll go scroll down using the down arrow key to tachometer. Select next, then we'll use input 2, so we scroll down to input 2, select next. You want to see pulses per revolution, so that's correct, we don't need to edit that. You'll see at the bottom of the screen manual ratio is 1.0, that's assuming that you're getting one pulse per revolution. That would be correct on a magnet on a standard shaft, but if you're using, for example, a proximity sensor, then you may have up to 19 carcellations on a sprocket. So you would then scroll down to manual ratio, edit, using your left right arrow keys as such, and you will scroll to, uh, we'll make it 19 as discussed, exit. Then you'll see the manual ratio has changed to 19. This indicates that there'll be 19 pulses per revolution. Select next. We want units of display to be RPM, so that's correct. Next. And now if you want to set a minimum and maximum alarm to if the shaft exceeds or goes slower than an expected um, revolutions per minute, you can set an alarm. We'll edit that and make the alarm for minimum example of 80 RPM. Next, that alarm is just indicating because there's no sensors turning at the moment. We'll scroll down to the alarm max edit and we may want this at sh on a shaft at say 400 RPM. And then we'll exit and then we just select next. Current just indicates if you want a name, so we'll edit that. And what I would do, rather than write shaft one, I would just scroll through using the up arrow until we get to the S. And then we'll scroll to the right and screen through until we get to the number one. S1 will suffice for shaft 1. If you have multiple shafts on a fertiliser bin, you can just do S1, S2, S3, S4, etc, etc. Exit. Radio next. And now that's the configuration for RPM. Next, and you'll see on the screen S1, and the reason that that screen's flashing between black and white is because it's below the minimum shaft speed we've set for an alarm. If you want to disable that alarm, you just hit the alarm button, and then over there, auto, we could have it on or we could have it off, and then we exit. As you'll see, that stopped. So that's a simple way of setting up the jackal to measure a simple shaft speed.